Hey folks, this is Bailey from Dankless Wargaming, and today we're going to be continuing our series on how to charge in the game Warhammer 40,000. Today we're going to specifically look at how to avoid Overwatch when charging. Let's get to it. Alright folks, we're back on our small tactical table here, and I'd once again like to shout out our participants. We have my Dark Angel Scouts on the other side of this L-shaped wall, and then we have a wonderful... Death Guard Chaos Lord with the Power Fist, painted by my good teammate, Matt. Now, we are looking at Overwatch and how to avoid it in the charge phase. Now, there are lots of abilities, spells, stratagems that just let you inherently ignore Overwatch. But the problem is, is that sometimes they don't always come off. You're either out of CP, you failed as a roll, something happens. And they just don't have that ability, or you're just not in range. You're out of place. Your placement is bad. So, what you need to work on then is how to avoid it just using the regular rules available to you and the terrain that is available to you on the board. Now, the key to all of this is understanding the Overwatch rule. It's the third section of the charge phase. Down at the bottom, there's this interesting ruling where it says that Overwatch is resolved like a normal shooting attack, albeit one resolved in the enemy's charge phase, and uses all the normal rules except that a 6 is always required for a successful hit roll, irrespective of the firing model's ballistic skill or any modifiers. Now again, there are rules like Tau, ability to fire on 5s, that ignore this, but the key here is that all normal rules apply, including line of sight. So the key to using terrain to avoid being overwatched is to make sure that the firing model, the unit that you're charging, cannot physically see you. Now, remember, according to the line of sight rules at the beginning of the rules section for Warhammer 40,000, is that any part of your model that can be seen by any part of the firing model counts. They count as being able to see each other. So it could be a back banner, a bit of horn, as you can see, here on the Chaos Lord or the little Nurgling with his smoke on top. Any of that that can be seen is going to be shot at. So you have to make sure you use a big enough piece of terrain for this when you make your charge. So if I were to charge with this Chaos Lord, in the preceding movement phase, I would have had the option to, say, move up really close. Like, say, I could have moved him right up here and made basically a charge that would have been unfailable, but I would eat all that overwatch from all those guys. I don't really want to do that because I don't really want him to take any unnecessary wounds. So I'm going to put him back where he was. And what I'm going to do instead is that I'm going to accept that there might be a chance of failure, but I'm actually going to move him right up against the wall here where I know he can't be seen by the chaos. Oh, there I go buying into all of that imperial propaganda the chaos scouts they are not chaos they are dark angels they are loyal do not doubt them they believe in the god emperor so the idea is that the chaos lord here will move up against this line of sight blocking piece of terrain so that he can make his charge roll without taking overwatch so if i were to declare the charge take my two dice just like i always would and roll them all right i'd roll a nine and I would be able to complete my charge, and I would not suffer any overwatch because he just simply is not visible. So therefore, he wouldn't take any damage, and he would charge around here into contact, or at least within an inch of an enemy model, in order to make this charge successful. And that's how I'd use a piece of terrain like this to make sure I'd have an unoverwatchable charge, where I would not be hit by any overwatch. Now, if he had a jump pack, it'd make it a lot easier, because then I could just jump straight over the top of the wall, but as he does not have a jump pack, I have to go around it. Continuing on with this idea that we want to hide our model from line of sight in order to make a charge that will not involve any overwatch, we have this building. It's one of those infamous or famous ITC magic boxes. And we have a couple different options here. We can do what we did earlier and kind of move around and use the corner to hide behind. But since our Chaos Lord here is an infantry model, and this is a building. That means that he has the ability to move into the building through its walls, which he's going to do now. And then he also has the ability to charge through the walls to the other side. So I would want to move my Chaos Lord into the building, 
Declare my charge against the scouts who cannot overwatch me because the first floor of any building like this or a ruin is line of sight blocking. So therefore I would then make my charge roll. I rolled a seven, so that's more than enough. To then come through this wall here, come out the other side and into contact, or at least within an inch, if not base-to-base -base contact with one model from the enemy squad. So that's another way to avoid the Overwatch is to use the buildings, special rules, and the terrain rules for ITC and for regular Warhammer 40,000 in general. Lastly, we're going to look at one of my favorite ways to avoid Overwatch. I don't do it very often, and it's really hard to pull off unless you have a jump pack, which my Chaos Lord here does not have. But we're still going to try it because it's lots of fun anyway. Now, sometimes you don't have any terrain at all, and you can't hide your model the way you would want shown on the previous two examples. But there is still one more thing you can do, and that's use the larger models that you have to block line of sight for your charges. So here we have a Death Guard Plague Burst Crawler assisting this Chaos Lord. It too was also painted by my good teammate Matt. And in the preceding movement phase to my charge phase, I'm actually going to move my Plague Burst Crawler in between the Chaos Lord and the Dark Angels Knights. And I'm going to be careful to make sure that he's more than an inch away from enemy models, which is the general rule for moving things in the movement phase. And I'm going to move my Chaos Lord right up against it, so that way there's no part of him that can be seen, not even his little horn bit here, or the smoke off the top of this nurgling on top of his head. There's no way you can see any of that from the other side by those scouts. So, when I make my charge roll here, I declare my charge, he is not seen, so he doesn't take any overwatch. I roll my dice, and I roll box cars here, 12, two sixes. I am going to be able to make my charge all the way around and into combat range with these scouts. So there you have it, folks. That's how you avoid overwatch in the charge phase in Warhammer 40,000. The key is to get behind some sort of line of sight blocking piece of terrain or a vehicle in the case that I showed today and that will allow you to get very sort of sometimes sensitive or vulnerable or what we might say squishy characters into combat without them being killed. If you like this video please like comment and share. If you want to know more about Nicholas Wargaming please check the description below. Until next time I'm Bailey reminding you that if your list starts to tank then it's time to get dank.